Our coverage of the St. Catherine Martin Luther King Classic continues from the Butler Center at St. Catherine University in the capital city of St. Paul. Mike Beaton with you. Our next game in our five game slate is the Holy Family Catholic Fire and the Cloquet Lumberjacks. Cloquet, they have lost their last six games after winning their first nine, their first eight, I should say. So they have been all over the place. Holy Family Catholic, they're sitting at 10 and five, but they've struggled a bit against some of the upper echelon teams. They also had a loss to two rivers, but they do have the third leading scorer in the state in Jocelyn Land. Jocelyn having herself a sensational season having to shoulder most of the load. She will go to Butler next year. An honorable mention in Class 2A All-State. Holy Family has a new coach as well, Matt Dooley, after Brandon Antle was there for the last few years. Jocelyn Land had 10 games in a row with 30 points or more. And for Cloquet, their big name to watch is Ava Carlson, averaging 14.2 points per game. Also the leading rebounder of the team. Lani Finotti behind her at 11.2. Here are the starters for the fire. It's Grace Anseth, Jocelyn Land, Berkeley Nybauer, Elon Miller, and Kaylin McComb. Cloquet will start Quinn Danielson, the four foot 10 inch point guard, Lauren Hughes, Carly Johnson, Leilani Finotti, and Ava Carlson. All right, everyone making sure we're all set to go. Holy Family, they participated in this event for the last few years, and you'll find them competing in a lot of invitationals, including the Twin Cities Thanksgiving tip-off as we are underway. In our second of five games, Alex Nagel will be with us soon. If not this game, he'll be with us for our next one, Holy Angels and Duluth Marshall. Here's a catch and shoot three for the fire. McComb can't put it down. And the rebound is picked up by Carly Johnson. Lauren Hughes over to Danielson. Tried to connect with a cutting Finotti for the high low play. Finotti missing the layup. McComb for three, swish. McComb is on the board. Averaging 8.1 points per game this season, Land averaging 33. Again, had 10 or more, 10 points, 10 games, if I can say it right with 30 or more. Danielson wants the triple, comes up long, rebound Carlson, she'll shoot two. Cloquet in section 7-3A. That section perhaps up for grabs this year. Rockridge having a strong season. Carlson missing the front end. Her teammates and coaches call her Avs, even though her name is only three letters long. And she also takes up volleyball with the Lumberjacks. It's an empty possession for Cloquet. Cloquet swarming the interior. Danielson steps into the three and knocks it down. Quinn Danielson, I think the shortest player I have ever seen covering high school hoops. I've seen some five foot guards out there. She's four foot 10, more suited for gymnastics and basketball, but she makes it work. Holy Family Catholic wants the three and they won't get it there. Three, three, the score. And the fire will take over.
Fire looking for the high low. But Cloquet, they know all about Jocelyn Land. You saw all that white surrounding her, white jerseys that is. Danielson found Carlson, but she couldn't connect on the turnaround. Losing the handle was Grace Anseth. A lot of returning faces for Holy Family Catholic. They just don't have the wins like they used to against the higher level teams. If you recall a couple years ago, they had that huge double overtime upset over Minnetonka. Here's a deep three for Jocelyn Land. Offensive rebound, fade away, that's short. That was Elon Miller. And we're going the other way. Stepping into the mid-range jumper is Lauren Hughes. And Danielson's got a couple assists. Well, she will. You can't assist on your own basket. It's 5-3. Danielson has one assist and hopefully a few more. Land moves in, has that shot blocked. 14-34 left in the first half. Holy Family Catholic in Section 5-2A. Providence is in that group. There's a three. Land and Eibauer. Jordan also in 5-2A. Holy Family lost to them in runaway fashion. Jordan, they've got themselves quite a team. They may pose an upset challenge to Providence. Holy Family Catholic, I think, needs a few more things to go their way, but that can help. McComb times the pass, and we'll go coast to coast with a steal and run out. On the other end, Cloquet looking for the three. Finotti can't give it to them. And set. Tried to pass it up. Cloquet takes it away. Lauren Hughes with the hezzy and the finish. Plus the foul. Carlson got the deflection that made that opportunity possible. Quick substitutions coming in. Lauren Hughes, known as Lowe, soccer, basketball, and track. You may recall Cloquet reached the state tournament in girls soccer this year. Averaging 6.2 points per game. She completes the three-point play. We are even at eight. Once again, Cloquet patrolling land down low. Whoops. Someone forgot to put on the brakes. But that's all right, if I were down there, I probably would lose track and would run right through that wall or the bleachers and it would get quite messy. I'm not very good at stopping. That's why I'm up here, because I like to talk. Where are we? 13.06 left in the first half. And Holy Family Catholic still trying to get Jocelyn Land established down low, but Cloquet continuing to swarm the interior. And that will be a carrying violation on Lauren Hughes. So a couple of turnovers, but Cloquet has handed the ball back on a couple of occasions. And uh, that is not what you want. You're trying to create, and that's tough to do when you're not able to secure the ball firmly. 12.39 left in the first half. This is Nybauer. Lost it. Danielson to Finotti. Pulls up. Short. Tracks her own miss.
came close anyway. We're still even at eight. Land finally gets a high-low pass. Tally Belify. with the assist. We'll see how successful Holy Family Catholic is with the entry feeds. Kickoff for Cloquet. And it's taken away by Land. The Butler commit going to the Big East next year. Nybauer bobbled it initially, but recovers and has a chance for three. Berkeley Nybauer averaging 10.4 a game. Enjoys baking, also a track athlete with Holy Family Catholic. Land, by the way, averaging a double double. Nybauer not quite at those figures, but won't get a three point play there. But Holy Family does get a little separation, 12-8. It's been back and forth between our two sets of contenders. Danielson's three is pure. Quinn Danielson with a couple of threes, and when you only stand four foot ten, having that arc, that touch, is oh so crucial. Land. Backs off. Land, touch three. Long. And again, you saw her line up behind the college line. Cloquet had a little bit of trouble fielding the ball there, and it's a turnover. Fire getting out of a jam there. That was Anseth hooking up with Bellify. She kicks back out, eight to shoot. Land is looking. She sees a lane and takes it home. Land so effective down low. That was why Cloquet was trying to stay on top of her early. Land picks up the rebound. Didn't spot Ava Carlson sneaking up from behind and lost it. Here's a three. That doesn't go in for Kylie Isendorf. Holy Family Catholic will take over. Last year it was Jocelyn Land and Sophie Hall who steered the ship for Holy Family Catholic. And that big one over Crosby Ironton, which came as something of a surprise. Holy Family Catholic drains the three. This one from Elena Bali. She was straddling that college line. Carlson out of the high post. Anset takes it away. Land, catch and shoot three is there. McComb with her second three-pointer. Land with the assist and Holy Family Catholic on our first run, 22-11 the score. It was even at eight a while ago. Turn around, won't fall for Ava Carlson. 
Rebound land. Going coast to coast, gets the roll. Timeout, Cloquet. Holy Family Catholic on a 14-3 run as they lead by 11. Jocelyn Land and Kaylin McComb are heating up for the aptly named Holy Family Catholic Fire. Twin City Sports Broadcasting and a whole lot more. That's what you get from TSB Television. We provide long-lasting digital coverage of your favorite athletes from the preps to the pros. Dazzling moves. Holloman, good if it goes. Yes! Game winners. James. She's in trouble. Finds James. Toss shot! It goes in! And everything in between. Before we let you go, do you want to say hi to anybody? Oh, oh I don't know. That put me on the spot there. If you want to connect with our audience, Visit us at patreon.com slash TSB television or sponsor our coverage through PayPal and Cash App. Thank you for watching. We're back to action. 8.35 left in the first half. 22-11 the score. Holy Family Catholic on the first big run of the game. as they lead by 11. Danielson to Hughes. You hear the countdown. Holy Family Catholic with another opportunity to extend this run. That three goes off the front iron. Rebound and drawing free throws will be Kaylin McCall. Nicole averaging 8.1 points per game this season. Not a ton of trips to the free throw line, but she's five of six in the early going. Now she's seven of eight. You hear the Minnesota play for Cloquet. We'll see what that means. Well, it means we're gonna see a drive on the inside and one for Leilani Finotti. That gets her on the board. Finotti, 11.2 points per game. Softball and basketball are the two sports she takes, and she says, I take more selfies of my cat beans than I do myself, although technically, if you're taking photos of your cat, I don't know if you can call them selfies, because uh, if they were selfies, I think your cat would be capable of doing that. I'm guessing Beans doesn't have the dexterity to take photos of herself, or himself, or whatever self. It's a three-point play for Finotti. That's the important thing before I go on a rant about cats and selfies here. And that is a takeaway for the Lumberjacks. Here's a chance for them to perhaps throw down a bucket or two and get back in this game. Here's a three. In and out. Offensive rebound, Carly Johnson. A little too soft. Carlson. That bounces out as well. And Seth picks it up was hounded, and that will be a foul on Carly Johnson. Under seven minutes to go in the first half. This is Nybauer. Threw it away. I think was looking for Land, but didn't quite spot her on that route. Danielson has a pair of threes, able to catch a cutting teammate. Here comes Johnson, who draws contact. That's Carlson, I should say. She'll shoot two.
Carlson missing the front end. 71% free throw shooter. And she'll take a split there. That gets her on the board. And Cloquet after trailing, eking their way. Of course, with basketball, you don't have to do everything in one fell swoop. Work your way back one possession at a time. Lauren Hughes on the take, gets the friendly bounce. Hughes up to seven. And then a steal off the inbound. I think Danielson with the thievery, and it will lead to a second chance layup on the fast break for Ava Carlson. So, Cloquet has put themselves back in this game after trailing by 13. Land used up the dribble. Out of the elbow, Nybauer back to land for three. Has yet to hit one from long range. Rebound Finotti. Carlson found nowhere to go, so she says, all right, I'll do it myself. Cloquet scoring the last 10 in a row. They could add to it, possibly. It will be a foul on Lauren Hughes. So it's Holy Family Ball. Now it'll be Cloquet Ball. Danielson, along the lane, goes to the corner. Cloquet swings it around, the turnaround, and a finish for Finotti. A 12-0 run for Cloquet. And we're back to a nearly even duel. Pull up from the elbow is not there for Land. Foul on Holy Family Catholic. We'll go against McComb, I believe, with 4.38 to go in the first half. A quick moving half. I see some of the mini haha -ha folks sticking around. Well, Duluth Marshall comes up later in the schedule, and Providence Academy is our final game of the day. Isendorf had it, kick it back out. Three, bullseye, Lauren Hughes. And Cloquet has taken the lead. They have scored the last 15 points. Not often that you see such Massive swings in momentum, but we've got that unfolding here. Bellify to land. Across and in. Land with eight. We're tied to 26. Side up for the Lumberjacks of Cloquet. Swing it around, three ball. Danielson cannot connect from the corner. Nybauer got a rebound and a step, one on one. Went for it. You heard the official say bounce 
out. The ball bounced out. I did see the ball touch the baseline before it was touched by a Holy Family Catholic player. Land through the hole, up and in. Land's inside game working almost to perfection. She's got 10. Hughes, another swing out, now back inside. Isendorf, pulls up, long. Holding call on Holy Family Catholic. Oleg to McComb, finds Land again. Money. Land with 12. Hughes to Finotti. Fires after didn't seeing, after not being able to see a passing option. Holy Family Catholic coughed it up. They scored the last six but they won't have a chance to add to that in this instance. Jump ball after things got a little tied up down there. No, a foul was called instead. It was a hold. I initially thought it was a jump, but official signal hold, and it's on Holy Family Catholic. They're out of fouls to give with 2.21 to go. Carlson. Clean block by Land. Whoops. Grace and Seth. Lost her footing ever so slightly. Danielson draws the bump. She'll shoot two. Or I should say shoot one. And would get two if she... Scores after that. Enjoys reading no matter where she is, outdoors or the comfort of her own bed. She's also the libero on the volleyball team. Danielson, averaging 7.6 points per game, shoots 35% from three-point range. So she is a long distance threat for the Lumberjacks. And Cloquet will take a timeout. 30-28 the score, one minute 59 seconds left in the first half. And Alex Nagel is with us. We'll get him situated before long here at the Butler Center at St. Catherine. But this has been a Game of swings with Holy Family leading by as much as 13. Cloquet scored 15 in a row, and since then it's been back and forth. A couple of under-the-radar teams, although, again, given Section 7, 3A, that's up for grabs. Grand Rapids not having as strong of a year as they did. It was uh, their section for years. Rock Ridge and Cloquet might be making a run. And Alex, uh, I do have to ask you, have you recovered after last night's uh, heartbreaker with the Rams and the Lions? Well, I tell you what, Mike, as, as disappointed as I am, uh, I don't feel that bad. We played well. We just didn't get any stops in that first half. So uh, it I, looks like this game has kind of taken on some uh, similar patterns in some ways. Well, we'll get you up to speed as we make our way toward halftime. 
That's been a big element of the first half, though. Jocelyn Land and her inside presence, Alex. She's averaging a double-double, had 10 games with 30 or more consecutively. That's very impressive. She's third in the state in scoring, and after a slow start, has really found her groove inside. Cloquet scoring from short range. That is Finotti. She's up to seven. Holy Family Catholic trying to feed Bellify, and she draws the foul. That's the last to give for Cloquet. And Alex, I know you were running some errands, but our first game, Mini Ha Ha ran away over Osseo. Addie Mack, 38 points. You know, I would have expected that outcome to be maybe a little different. I mean, Osseo seemed to me like a team that's moving, you know, at least in the right direction on its way back up, but sometimes you do take some lumps along the way. Well, De La Salle gave him some trouble. Mini Ha Ha, we know they're having a fantastic year. Land, looking for that first three-pointer, won't get it there. 58.5 seconds left, offensive rebound for Holy Family Catholic. And Alex, I noted this as well. This is the first time where St. Catherine has hosted this event and will cap it off with one of their own games. Yeah, that's a big game. Uh, I believe that game tonight was St. Mary's. So somebody who covers the Mayak women's soup scene as closely as I do. I believe this is actually, this game tonight is going to be a non-conference game to make up for the uh, a loss of Carlton on the schedule, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll get that verified with John Mulhern later on today. Jocelyn Land finally gets her first three-pointer to fall. She's got 17. Not a surprise when you look at their numbers that she's leading the fire in scoring, but she is helping Holy Family Catholic end this first half on a big swing. Land kicks out, catch and shoot three, short. Zipping for the rebound is Anseth. Six second difference, but Holy Family Catholic not gonna wait. Carlton, a cloquet has time. That's Lauren Hughes. In transition, can't find the bucket, and drawing the foul is Land, she'll shoot two. Well, in the uh, excitement of that last, last sequence of uh, plays there on the uh, on the other end here, Mike, uh, Anseth of Holy Family did a very good job, a lot of hustle getting that offensive rebound and giving the fire a second chance. Jocelyn Land, a woman of few words, when you talk to her in the breakdown, but she lets her playmaking do the talking. Uh, I tell you what, that one spoke volume there. 33 points, 10.8 rebounds per game, has a couple of 40-point games this year, and third in the state in scoring. Alex, I was looking at the numbers. We're going to see three of the top five. They all have 30 points or more. That wasn't a sight you would see often no. even a few years ago. No. You had exceptions like Wagner and Dahlman, but that was it. It's a split for Land, and Cloquet does have time for one more. They'll take a deep three. And that will not count had that gone in. We're at halftime, Alex, 36-30, and again, we'll get you up to speed, but Holy Family Catholic, once they were the fine Jocelyn land down low, that helped them yeah. flow offensively. If they can get more of that, they might pick up their 11th win of the year. Well, right now, you know, if, if you're Cloquet, you're only down by six. You're well within striking distance. This is still a close game. You have to make a few adjustments on the defensive end, though, I think. We'll see what adjustments are made as we return for the second half. This is the St. Catherine Martin Luther King Classic. Holy Family Catholic leads Cloquet 36-30. Twin City Sports Broadcasting, and a whole lot more. That's what you get from TSB Television. We provide long-lasting digital coverage of your favorite athletes from the preps to the pros. Dazzling moves. Holloman, good if it goes. Yes! Game winners. James. She's in trouble. Finds James. Toss shot! It goes in! And everything in between. Before we let you go, do you want to say hi to anybody? Oh. Oh, I don't know. It put me on the spot there. If you want to connect with our audience, visit us at patreon.com slash TSB television or sponsor our coverage through PayPal and Cash App. Thank you for watching. Mike Peden and Alex Nagel back with you at the Butler Center, St. Catherine University in St. Paul. Holy Family Catholic leads Cloquet 
36-30, Jocelyn Land, 18 points to lead the fire. Kayla McComb has 10 for Cloquet. Lauren Hughes leads the way with 10, Quinn Danielson with eight. Alex, I know you came in just as the first half was coming to a close, but Holy Family Catholic, they found a way to get Jocelyn Land involved in the interior. That could go a long way for them in the second half. Well, that's obviously that's going to be key. I've always said, Mike, that first couple, two or three minutes of the second half are usually the most critical stages of any ball game, and I suspect that may be the case here. Carlson out to Danielson. Carlson missed the elbow J. Ball didn't touch rim. They'll try from the left side, and converting is Carly Johnson, her first field goal. A good start for the Lumber Lumberjacks here in this second half. Let's see if they can build on that. Well, remember, Cloquet trailed by 13 before scoring 15 in a row to take the lead for a little while. So nobody's won this yet. Land using the step through. And Jocelyn Land has 20 points. Alex, she did a lot of that in the first half. Yeah. And she's shooting over 50% from the floor, 537 to be precise. Her three-point stroke, not quite as smooth, but pretty strong numbers. When, when you're as efficient as down low as she is, you're going to put yeah. up some that's, big numbers. And I think that's got to be key now for head coach Keith Young and his Lumberjack squad. They've got to deny that entry pass. It's Heather Young. They left, <laughs> they left out a couple letters in the program. It's oh. Heather Young. I know, I did a double take myself. Land for three. Raises the front of the iron. Cloquet on the move. And Carly Johnson warping her way down court for the fast break layup. Holy Family Catholic, that's a long three. Alex, I noted this in the first game. You'll see a lot more of this, I suspect, with teams that aren't familiar playing on college courts. That peripheral vision, a lot of players will respond to that purple line, which is a college line. Right, it's right. the gray line, that's the high school line, but you, know, you don't always have time to make that distinction. That's an interesting and very keen observation there, Mike. Let's. It will be interesting to see how they adapt to that. Here you go right there. But well, Quinn Danielson, remember, is a 35% three-point shooter, so uh, yeah. she's got some range. That, that didn't face her one bit. In fact, Danielson has three triples. And more and it's importantly, a one it's a one-point game now. And Addie Mack hit one in our earlier game. Jocelyn Land, that time couldn't wedge herself through that double. Danielson lobs it. Cloquet, too far underneath, and they throw it away. And Seth. Missed opportunity there for the Lumberjacks. Land, oh, she was thinking about it. Now tries to work off a screen. Hands it off. Nybauer wants the three. Offensive rebound, Elin Miller. And a foul was called on Cloquet. Kayla McComb will go to the line. McComb again, averaging 8.1 a game. She has 10 so far. You know, Mike, I've always said that free throw shooting is such a critical component of any game, but especially in this kind of a situation when it's close. Gets the back end. And a timeout with 14.59 left in the second half. Two-point game. Who called that timeout there? Holy Family Catholic did. A little more about Jocelyn Land, Alex, while we have this timeout and a chance to uh, catch our breath. Considered one of the best post players 
out there, and she patterns her game after Nafisa Collier of the Minnesota Lynx. That's a good one to pattern your game after and emulate. And what she likes about Collier is her ability to defend bigger players and having the speed to defend guards. Lan likes to focus on her efficiency. And Collier having a nice career with Minnesota. Yeah. I'll be curious to see what Holy Family Catholic looks like moving forward because you had Sophie Hall, Jocelyn Land right. last couple of years. And who will come up after Land graduates? Because right. Holy Family Catholic, they've struggled, struggled against some of the higher level teams like Jordan and Minnehaha Academy. Dangerous pass there. Thirty-nine, thirty-seven. Cloquet looking to end a six-game losing streak. Holy Family Catholic. They've lost their last two to St. Anthony and Jordan. That jumper falls short for Danielson. She's actually a better three-point shooter than two-point shooter. Yeah. Not something you see often, but. Well, here again, where you're down only a one possession, this is where you want to see more high percentage shots taken. Oh, great steal there. That's another way to create opportunities for yourself. Kylie Isendorf to the line. Isendorf. Heads up play by Isendorf, the senior guard. She's averaging 6.2 points per game this season, but her free throw shooting hasn't been all that great. Just 5 of 11 up to this point. She is a CNA, which I believe means Certified Nursing Assistant. If I'm wrong, please let me know. And she also takes up soccer up at Cloquet. Cloquet does a co-op with Carlton for girls soccer. They keep the Lumberjacks title though. Holy uh, Family okay, Catholic. Well, that's so tough to stop. And that is Elon Miller's first field goal in this game. Danielson, catch and shoot three, not that time. Cloquet, Alex, I've noticed they've only played six players in the rotation so far. Yeah. Selena Bollig. Boy, I tell you what, that little give and go. It's worked twice now for the fire. They get a little bit more breathing room. Nye Bauer scoring for the fire. All the Angels gearing up. They come up next with Duluth Marshall. That'll be fun, I think. Here we go. Uh, free throws, yes. Foul on Carlson. I think. I think that's the first time you're going to see Chloe Johnson in our next game. Well, good job by Carlson there trying to get into the paint and initiate the contact, and it pays off. Ava Carlson at the line, 71% free throw shooter. Hughes checks back into the game now here for the Lumberjacks as well. Heather Young calls her an experienced, dynamic player. And Carlson sinks both free throws. It looked like Holy Family Catholic was going to have some breathing room, but we've been tied after they came back. Land for three offline. Danielson bounces it over, a little off target, but Finotti recovers. Danielson to Carlson. Land, cut her off. Bali. Nybauer, waiting for help. 
Deep three for Nybauer. Land, rebound, that okay, is her sweet spot. Prime example of what those second chance opportunities can do to you. Danielson, the long skip to Lauren Hughes, oh. bullseye. Nice response there. Hughes with a gutty three-point shot there from the right corner. Hughes with 13. And again, Cloquet staying right there. Nybauer with the answer. Short rebound Danielson. Boxed out against the taller McCall, although in Danielson's case, it's about everyone who's taller. But she doesn't let the height or lack thereof stop her from what she's doing. Land off the screen, pulls up. Can't bank it in. Danielson gets the rebound, draws the foul. Hughes, now Carlson on the left side. Danielson had to lean into that three a bit. Rebound picked up by Ali Babler. And Seth. To Nybauer, and Seth has it again. Jocelyn Land couldn't get that one to bounce in. Hughes. Land going. almost looked like she ran out of real estate there on the other end, but still was able to get up a good shot, just couldn't get it to go down. That's Paige Gorenson, her baseline jumper is long. Well, initially, Cloquet put a lot of white jerseys on land down low to try to put a wall. And it worked initially. It's been more of a struggle since, but right now we're in a stalemate of sorts. 10-10 left in the second half, 45-43. Babbler. And Seth. To Nybauer. That pass intercepted. Danielson providing a lot of defensive maneuvers, defensive plays for the Lumberjacks as they try to take the lead on this three. Isendorf is short. Rebound going to Babbler and well, the Lumberjacks have plenty of opportunities. They just haven't been able to cash in. And we've been stuck at 45-43 for a while. And that lob for Jocelyn Land is overthrown. Now, this was one of those wild cards in this lineup. You didn't really know how this game would pan out. Danielson what? blocked. It stays with Cloquet. Now Danielson will run a set. Bounces it and drawing the foul is Carlson. It's on land. Let's see how many that's for her. Lauren Hughes has four fouls on the Cloquet side. Well, again. Big opportunity now for the Lumberjacks here. Just the first on land, 
And that three goes out for Carlson. That free throw, I should say. Carlson shooting 46% from the floor. One of the more accurate arms in the Cloquet arsenal. It's a split in this instance. Land squeezes through, oh, but she won't. No, a move. it's a foul. What a move by Land splitting the double team and finishing off the glass. I thought it was going to be a travel at first when she tried to squeeze through. Instead, she has a chance for a three-point play. This is why I'm not an official. Jocelyn Land had 45. No three-point play hit there. She had 45 points in the win over Visitation and 41 in the win over Maranatha Christian Academy. And like we said, Alex, 10 straight games with 30 or more. That streak ended against Jordan. She still put up 25, though. She will get hers. Points, that is. So it's 47-44. And Cloquet lurking around the perimeter. Now Carlson looks for space, can't find it. You now hear the countdown. Down the shot clock. Danielson, the runner. Carlson snags the rebound away from Len and will go to the line. Carlson with eight points. Alex, have you? I know we've done this event in the past, but when you come over here to cover games for St. Catherine, are you usually up here or are you down I'm in the down, bleachers? I'm usually down there. So, what do you make of this perspective? Because we're right on different. top of the floor. I, I mean, it's, it's nice to see things from a different perspective up here as opposed to being down low. I wish I could do something about these pillars. <laughs> They're kind of getting in the way, but not too much. Carlson makes both free throws. What I enjoy about this place, though, is we have a timeout for Holy Family Catholic. They're out of fouls to give, so keep that in mind with yeah. the six to go. But you're right on top of the action from up here in this concourse area. You know, it, it's, it's funny. Uh, at all the uh, Mayak venues that I go to, I seem to always have my favorite sitting spot at each one. And, and here at St. Kate's, for example, at Butler Center, I always like to be down low and onto the left side. But here, again, you, up here you get a different perspective of things. You see things differently as you would down low. 8.06 left in the second half. Oh, hello. <laughs> Speaking of perspectives, Terry uh, snuck a little perspective of us. I wasn't even <laughs> looking. He's always been clever and deceptive and furtive like that. That's never deceptive, a bad, okay, that's never that's a bad thing. Word. Furtive, furtive. 47 46 our score. Well, Mike, we, we've seen Cloquet with several opportunities to at least draw even or even poke their nose ahead. So far, here with 806 left in this second half, they haven't been able to do so. And down only one. Let's see if they can get a stop now here on the defensive end and give themselves that chance. If nothing else, that timeout gives me a chance to rehydrate. That is important when you are a broadcaster. Any aspiring ones out there, although I don't know who would want to watch my tape and draw inspiration from me, I have nothing to <laughs> offer. <laughs> 8.06 left in the second half. And a game that has been tied. It featured a couple of swings. Holy Family Catholic scoring a 14-3 runner, putting up one, I should say. Then Cloquet answered with 15th straight. We've Ooh, been and a big chance here. Since. Danielson. Takes the loose ball, and that is a double dribble. That's tough. That is tough. Holy Family Catholic, by the way, you can find them in Victoria, west of Chanhassen, Cloquet, up in Carleton County. City of about 12,000. 
Free throws coming for Berkeley Nybauer. Well, Daring drive by Nybauer on that one. Draw the foul now and give the fire a, a little bit more breathing room here. Nybauer at the line. Can't knock down the front end on the season. Nybauer, 66% free throw shooter, averaging 10.4 a game. Has seen her numbers tick up a bit, getting some more opportunities with Sophie Hall graduating and an empty possession for Holy Family Catholic. They've stalled offensively over the last few minutes, and Cloquet will retake the lead. Well, finally, on the up by Johnson. 30 mark, Cloquet does it. Holy Family looking to take it back. O'Board, fadeaway, not there, but the rebound wasn't secured properly. And it will stay with Holy Family Catholic. Cloquet, they did take the lead briefly after that 15-0 run in the first half. And what do we have here? I'm not sure. I didn't. Uh, Are they checking the foul tally? Perhaps? Are they checking the foul tally? I don't know. I know Hughes has four. We, we knew that Holy Family was out of fouls to give. So let's just see here. I thought it might have been a shock from the way he's looking at it. I'm wondering if it might have been a shot clock issue. Well, this is certainly an unusual pause. Okay, it was shot clock. They reset it to 24. Land. Well, I tell you what, Got she's the been Holy role. Fam Family's uh, go-to girl, and she delivers there. She's been their go-to for the last couple of years, really. Led the team in scoring last year. Again, she had Sophie Hall to help her out, and here she is with 26. And with Holy Family's offense stalling as of late, that was a big runner for Land to get. Hoping to obtain a few more points, perhaps. Both teams trying to end losing streaks. Holy Family losing two in a row. Cloquet losing six in a row. They won their first eight and then lost their next six. Land. That was a tough shot. But the rebound is tipped to Grace Anseth. Hooks up with Land again. Got Gets the Plinko the bounce there. 51-48, land with 28. We could have another 30-point score on our hands here. Isendorf lost the ball, but the outlet pass was too soft. Cloquet will take it the other way. Nice play by Johnson. And Seth got just enough of it to deflect it out of bounds. It will stay with Cloquet. And Lauren Hughes will check back in. Remember, she has four fouls. Let's see how this changes things offensively for Cloquet, Alex, because Lauren Hughes was leading the way with 13 points in this one. Oh, what a play. I tell you what, And Seth smelled that inbounds pass from the get-go. And Holy Family will go to the free throw line. McComb to shoot two, and let's see what that foul is on. It's on Danielson. Duluth and Marshall getting ready. Just when you thought Cloquet might be on the verge of getting things going their way in this one, that one point lead that they had at the 7.30 mark has quickly evaporated. It's a five-point lead after McColl makes both free throws, but long way to go. And hitting the 13-footer is Carlson. Give the assist to Danielson. Nice elevation there in the paint. Nobody's won this yet. Oh 
And Seth finds land. I thought the pass was high initially, and she gets bumped. That's the last foul to give for Cloquet. You know, in, initially, it, it, you know, she had her hands up, but she leaned forward just enough to cause that contact. And that's what'll do it. Yep. You can't tackle people. Well, that wasn't a tackle, but you can't make contact like that, or that's gonna be a foul, so both teams out of fouls to give. Oh my! Lauren Hughes with the steal and run out. A lot of hustle there by Hughes. Back to a one point game. Hughes, a difference maker for the Lumberjacks. And Seth on the take and the finish. Her first points of the game. But nobody has secured the win yet. Elon Miller with another dose of thievery. McCall. Three on the way. Land, rebound. Oh, I tell you what, you gotta have, if you're Cloquet, you have to box her out. And with that putback layup, Land has now scored 30 or more in 11 of the last 12 games. Against third in the state in scoring. She only trails Madden Greenway and Toy Orline. Carlson gets the bounce. She's got 14. Well, she's, I tell you what, Carlson is definitely keeping this Cloquet team alive here in the second half, back to within a single possession. Stay Holy Family Ball, 3.45 on the clock. 57-54, timeout Cloquet. Okay. 3.45 to go. And a three-point game, Alex. The second half has been a tight one. Well, I'll we, be curious we... who's going to execute in the closing stages. We've seen Cloquet with numerous chances in this second half to poke their nose ahead. It finally happened at the 7.30 mark as we noted earlier. But they haven't always been able to get the stops on the other side of the court you know, on the defensive end. And they've given up some shots, some points, uh, easy points, you know, especially when you get land, when she gets an offensive rebound, You've got to get a body on her to box her out. You cannot give her those second chance opportunities. By the way, Cloquet, if you're wondering, some notable names to come out of there. Jessica Lang, that name might ring a bell for some of you. Darren Streblo, a stand-up comedian. And Clarence Larson, a commissioner for the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission. And Cloquet commissions a takeaway. And with the game played as tight as it is, every little swing, every little yeah. development can loom large. It's, it's, it's magnified, isn't it? Right. With a game that's up for grabs. And again. Nybauer with the steal. She sprints down court for the layup. That makes it a five-point game, but Holy Family Catholic hasn't won it yet. They've got to finish the job. Going oh, for the reverse. What a Whoa. tough reverse layup. Finotti, her first field goal of the second half, and she does it with style. One possession game again. And with the shot clock, you can't lay back. This might be the time where teams might have pulled back in the past. They can't do so here. No. At least not like they used to. Got to work the clock, got to... Stay on target. Land. Oh, Whoa. my goodness. Aha. I tell you what, another tough move. Tough move with a dash of limberness, flexibility, dexterity. Jocelyn Land. I feel one of those players in the senior class. And now with a five-point lead with under 245 left, let's see if 
Holy Family could consolidate on this lead. Land for three. That would have been a huge help. But I was going to say, I think Lamb would get a little more attention if the team she was on was maybe on the short list of contenders. Reminds me of Savannah McGowan, who was at Upper Robbinsdale Armstrong, now at Illinois State. Danielson lost the ball. Chance for Holy Family Catholic to bring down the hammer and sneak out of here with the win. They'll take a timeout as they were going well beyond the key. And remember, Alex, it's a longer court here yep. at yep. the college That's, level. You know, that was the other adjustment, too, for you know any high school team coming in here, how, are they, how they were going to adjust to that. Well, Holy Family Catholic, uh, they've done some of these events in the past. Cloquet, I think this is the only time they play at a college venue. Yeah. And let's take a look at the schedule. In the case of Cloquet, yeah, this is the first and only game, I believe, where they will play at a college gymnasium. 156 to go. And Holy Family Catholic leads by five. Cloquet has a better chance to get out of their section than Holy Family does because you've got Jordan and Providence Academy. Yeah, yeah, it's That's not to say they can't do it, but from what I've seen, it's going to be a tough t hill to climb. 7-3A, Rockridge is doing quite well. They just beat Duluth Marshall. Grand Rapids taking a step back. They don't have any more handlings. Yeah. So we'll have to see. I have a feeling there might be some surprises in Section 7-3A this year. But right now, it's all about trying to get that win. And for Holy Family Catholic, Jocelyn Land has done an incredible job all season long. This was one of the many reasons we come out here and do it. Rock Ridge, by the way, Alex, 13 and one. That is insane, 13 and one, and their lone loss came against Cromwell Wright. They have defeated everyone else, including Cloquet at the Cloquet Holiday Tournament. So Rock Ridge, the favorite, but right now we've got to settle the winner here. Oh. That will help the Holy that Family just cause. Might do it. Nybauer throws it down. Cloquet looking for the quick score. Too strong. Carly Johnson couldn't put it in. Holy Family Catholic leads by eight. High, low for land. You know what's coming next. Yep. Holy Family finishing strong here in the home stretch. And Holy Family Catholic should get out of here with the win now. Jocelyn Land, 34 points. Carlson will shoot free throws, but I don't think it's going to matter now. That is an insane stat to think about, Alex. 30 points or more in 11 of your last 12 games. And again, if That's Holy Family was higher up on the list of contenders, I think we'd be hearing more about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's just, just an amazing number when you sit back and think about it. Because a lot of attention this year has gone to Addie Mack, right. Madden Greenway, yeah. Tori Orline. Carlson missing both free throws, and Holy Family Catholic can secure the win. And Seth throws it away, but that's not going to matter all that much. Three from Finotti doesn't go in. Cloquet, they had a couple of chances, Alex. But Holy Family Catholic just had a couple more clutch plays in the closing stages. They'll run out the clock here. They don't have to do anything more with the shot clock off. 
And Jocelyn Land hanging on to it. Cloquet opting not to foul. Jocelyn Land, 34 points, adding to an impressive mark. And Holy Family Catholic wins 66-56 over Cloquet. Well, the fire were certainly strong. They finished strong. They did the right things when they had to do them. They certainly did. We'll see if we can get a chat with Land with another amazing performance as we continue our coverage of the St. Catherine Martin Luther King Classic. Holy Family wins 66-56. Joining me is Jocelyn Land, who put up 34 points. The 11th time in the last 12 games she has scored 30 or more, and Holy Family, grateful for it with the 10-point win. Jocelyn, what would you make of your senior season uh, and all of the crazy numbers you put up? Because uh, I've seen a lot of big numbers come out of you. Um, I think it's just like a testament to my team and how they trust me with the ball and how they just trust that when I have the ball in my hands, I'll make a good decision, whether it's I'm scoring or I'm giving it to my teammates to score. They just have a lot of trust in me and trust that my hard work's paying off. This game was back and forth at the start. You were up by 13. Cloquet scored 15 in a row. Second half was tied until the end. What helped you find that extra gear in the closing stages? Yeah, I think just like trust with each other and knowing that we all are basketball players, like we're all going to make mistakes and really slowing the pace down. They like to get up and down. We are tired and we like to get settled and run our sets and trust each other. So once we settled the pace and went to the pace of our game, it really, really helped us. Uh, down low is where you thrive the most. You pick up a lot of buckets down there. How have you refined that over the years to become such an efficient low post score? I think just like understanding that I'm usually smaller than my opponents, like usually the posts are bigger than me, so knowing that shot fakes, drop steps, pivots, all important, and also working on my fadeaway shot and getting my jumper good because then they have to guard me in all areas of the floor and they can't just trust that I'm going to go through them, that I might step in a fadeaway shot and they all have to be ready for that. How would you say your leadership has evolved over the years because you had Sophie Hall and there was a couple of other big names the last couple of years you've had to take more of that role this year how do you think that has developed you as you get ready for that big east uh, career in butler i think it's been hard i think it's been hard to step up because i don't want to be like the mean one on the team so i think just knowing that like my teammates trust me and i trust them and then vocalizing my thoughts and my opinions because my coach trusts me i'm really appreciative of that so knowing that when my teammates put trust in me they understand what i'm saying and they we all can trust each other and I understand you also uh, take a page or two from Nafisa Collier's game. She's one of your role models. Uh, what do you like most about her? I just like her versatility and how she's able to handle the ball and get inside. And I just think having versatility is important to your game. It certainly is. And what are you hoping to accomplish? I know you would like to make another deep postseason run with you being a senior and getting a chance to be in the top five and scoring right in there for the state scoring race. Uh, is this what you envisioned? And what else do you hope to accomplish? Um, I don't think I envisioned this. I don't think I was, thought I was going to get this close to 2,000 points, so I think this is exciting. And I think just like keep working hard. I want to win games, whether I'm scoring or my teammates scoring. I just like to win, and I'm ready to win. Well, you certainly got the win here. Before we go, do you want to say hi to anybody? I'm good. You're good. Well, I'm sure everyone is grateful for someone like Jocelyn, 34 points. Congrats on the win, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Jocelyn Land of Holy Family Catholic will have plenty more from the MLK Classic at St. Catherine University shortly.